Hey guys, look Fog here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and so guys, we're doing the 91 rated flashback ASBC Jerome Boateng from Bayern Munich. This card looks absolutely unreal. He does go into the player section of the SBCs, which obviously does mean that there is no expiry to this SBC. He is available now between now and essentially until FIFA 21 comes up, which is absolutely fantastic. He did cost me around about 80,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the four games I did blow him, he didn't score me any goals and he got me one assist and he also does have a uh, four star weak force as well as two star skill moves uh, getting interesting him stats his main stats will be his 99 strength his 99 reactions as well as his 99 composure and then finally his 94 stand tackle and uh, I just had the basic camps that apply to him there's a few things that I need to adjust with this team which I'll kind of do on Friday once Icon Swap comes out or it might be Monday, whenever whenever EA basically release it, either Friday or Monday. I'll then plan around how to get kind of get Boateng on full chem, and maybe involving like an icon goalkeeper, or maybe probably just buying Neuer off the market or something like that. But uh, according to Footbin, his SBC is coming in at around 300,000 coins from scratch if you don't have any informs or any high rated cards already in your club. There's only two segments to this SBC an 86 squad with one inform, and then an 87 squad with another inform as well, and two OK packs packs in return as well. And I, I did the Sandro uh, SPC analysis video earlier on the week, and that SPC was about 350,000 coins. This SPC is even cheaper than Sandro, and I even said that the Sandro car was definitely worth doing, and I was still considering to do him, but when I saw this Boateng car come out with the fact that Kanata is going to get like an upgrade and stuff like that as well, uh, I thought I've got to do Boateng, put him into the team, and I am so glad I've got him in the club. I think he's absolutely unreal. Um, I, I mean, like, first of all, a lot of his defensive stats are at 99. A lot of his passing stats are insane. He's literally better than a lot of icons. On centre backs, I was comparing them to like Prime Icon Maldini, not the not the moments Maldini, but the ninety four Maldini. You could genuinely make a case for this card to be better than him. Like really good height, amazing stats like defensive and physicality and stuff like that, and um, amazing passing on him. Really good pace, nice dribbling stats as well for a centre back. Honestly, uh, I think he's absolutely superb, and it's a card that you don't have to rush to do. You've literally got net between now and the end of FIFA to do him up between maybe now and team of the season or whatever like that, or uh, maybe get him this weekend once to see what we've got an icon stops or something like that, which is really really cool as well and of course there's a lot of other bundles like a place that you can get like that are really awesome to link him in with you know for example flashback um Neue if you did SPC maybe the player moments Kimmich if you did SPC as well and of course that road to the final Konate or the the SPC not the SPC the season's objectives at Akanji from Dortmund and stuff like that so there's a lot of good links available to this Boa 10 card uh, but in terms of how I was to use in game for me is tackling superb couldn't fault that he's got amazing defensive stats all round uh, 94 stand tackle 89 defensive awareness uh, 93 stand tackle even that basic camp style improves those stats as well it takes a stand tackle up to 98 it takes a stand tackle up to 97 as well defensive stats all round absolutely superb couldn't fault that and then also his physicality was uh, you know was absolutely awesome 6'4 in height, 90 aggression, and 99 strength. Wow, that is pretty impressive. He can bully players off the ball. He stands his own ground very, very well, of course, which is obviously uh, very important. Uh, I haven't come up against Lionel Messi yet, though, so it'll be interesting to see how we defend against him. If you know, you know. Am I right? I hope people kind of know that reference that I'm going for there. If you don't, I'm a bit disappointed, but anyway, um, yeah, no, listen, obviously, you know, uh, you know, strength on the whole, though, it, it is obviously superb, and then also his passing, again, really good, he actually got me one assist as one of the four games, made a sick pass, like about a 40-yard pass, like a Gerard-esque pass to Robert Perez, who uh, finished off a chance very well, but his passing in general, like a his long passing in particular, is absolutely superb, he's got 94 long passing, which again, with that basic camp style, goes up to 98, his 85 short passing goes up to 89, as does his vision going from 85 to 89 as well. And uh, again, you know, I've always said about, obviously when you use defenders, the main key stats that you want are physicality, defensive stats, you know, good reactions and composure, you know, pace and stuff like that. But I've always said as we get further on into FIFA, having good passing stats on the centre-back is getting more and more important because obviously there's better, you know, centre-back cards getting released into the game. And Boateng has got the passing stats that you absolutely want in literally every area that's very important in the vision, short passing and long passing. And um, this card will rival many, you know, it already rivals many of the icons that you can compare them to most centre back icons, like even prime icons and stuff like that. And he's literally got better stats than them. Obviously, he doesn't link to everyone, but like literally, if you compare him to like a Blorin Blanc, uh, to like a Marcel Desailly, obviously those cards are really, really cool to use and stuff like that, and like are iconic at the same time. But Boateng is only around 300,000 coins, and you could actually get him cheaper as well if you kind of grind the game a bit more and stuff. Um, I definitely think it's worth doing, as is the Sandro player moment. As you see, I think both of them are absolutely fantastic value for money. And of course, they're cards that you don't have to do within the next week. You can take your time to the SBC, and there'll still be amazing cards two or three months down 
down the line when we go into the Euros and stuff like that. If obviously that does, uh, you know, take place and stuff like that. So on the whole, great cards. Um, you know, him and the Sandro Cobb, obviously focusing on Boateng here. I would recommend doing this SPC, especially if you've got a Bundesliga team. Um, I think he's a very, very good card and you would get your value for money out of him. Absolutely 100%. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys later.